everyone. Today we I found a new book called Dear Dancer by Mary Lynn Ray, illustrated by Larian Stringer. Dear Dancer, there's a place I go that's green and grass. I a place I thought that no one knew until the day a deer came. When the deer saw me, I stood so still I cried to be part of the grass. I stayed still as he came nearer, nearer, until he was so close I could almost have to touch him. He looked at me, I looked at him, then he flashed his tail and leaped back toward the tree, trees where the shadows start and woods began. Did Nona somewhere meet the deer? When she's teaching me to dance, she says, hold your hand, head as if you were wearing antlers. She says, listen with your cheekbone. <laughs> Cheekbones. Cheekbones. Looks with your eye in your shoulder. But when she says to reach like this or bend or spin, I don't look like Nana. So I come to practice in the place that's grass. And the deer comes back. He lowers his antlers in greeting a lower min. I lower mine. Greeting I lower mine. He starts to graze and I began to feel a song inside, not one with words, a song to dance. Maybe the deer does too. He lifts his ears, his nose, his neck, and he leaps it and turns around me. I answer with that I learned from Nana. And then he answers back. He shows me how to leap like him, and I leap like him, throwing his antlers back, so I throw mine too. And round and round we dance, a dance for the sun and green grass. Until he turns again and goes, but leaves our dance for me to dance. I turn the way that Nana says. Our round earth turns, I turn the way my song turns. I leap, I leap hundred leaps. And then one more. I wish answers were to keep, but I have to go. Now there's only empty grass. Then shadows move behind the trees. I think the deer is back with other deer. So they can dance. The dance deer dance. When no one's there to see, 
The end. Okay, see you next time. Bye.